Hi guys, hope you all are doing good. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in this video, I am gonna share with you the construction of a drainage channel. Make sure you watch this video completely in order to better understand this concept of the construction of drainage channel. As you can see that we mark this place for the excavation. For the excavation you can see we are using GCB. The total width of our drainage channel is going to be 90 centimeters into in. For this purpose we are using 9 inch blocks and this is the reason why the total weight was maintained at 1.4 meters. So guys you can see after our excavation we are doing the survey and simultaneously we are putting concrete for the base. Whenever you are doing the construction of a drainage channel you have to make sure that you get a proper slope. This is the reason why surveying is a very important factor in the construction of a drainage channel. Here you can see that I was working together with one of my worker to get a proper slope. For each interval of 10 meters we maintain a slope of at least 5 centimeters. So guys here you can see that we are pouring concrete into the base. For this purpose our depth was maintained at 15 centimeters. You can see that the mason is using range pole. So you can also see that the water is flowing in the other direction which means we have a proper slope. So after doing the base you can see that the brick layer is putting the blocks. Whenever we are doing this construction of drainage channel we have to make sure that we use building line because it helps us in getting the proper alignment. So after putting the blocks you can see that the form work for the concrete capping has been placed. The total depth of our concrete capping is going to be 15 centimeters. Here you can see that the carpenter is carrying out the bracing. We have to carry out this bracing in order to make sure that we get a proper shape of our concrete capping. So after placing the form work you can see that we are doing the filling into the blocks and here you can also see that we are compacting our concrete in the blocks properly. We are going to leave a space of at least 4 cm at the top so that we can put our concrete and it can gel properly with the dry concrete. So guys here you can see that we have casted concrete into the capping. You can see that at some places we had placed single cores of blocks while at some places we place two courses of blocks. It all depends upon the topography of the area. So guys, I hope you liked this video and understood this concept of the construction of drainage channel. So until my next video, goodbye.